Ah, welcome back to the next daily life of Earth Spirit. This is Lord Kaolin, bringing you a perspective of an Earth Spirit player. But before everything else, let's go back in time and see how the match begins. Let's put on the intro. And so my legend begins. Another day, another Earth Spirit. Let's see. We'll be having a match with Morphling as their carry. One of my hated hero in the laning phase because of its high damage when gaining agility. It's really hard to keep up on the last hit. But of course, we're on the legend bracket. Not everyone's perfect, so let's see how it goes. And for our lane, I'll be picking up a Quelling, a Tango, a Circlet, a Branch, and a Magic Stick. Before the rune spawn, I saw Ogre Magi going up to the enemy tower range. He checked if there was a ward on the bottom side of the map, which there isn't, so we think that there's a ward on the top side. So the match begins, and as we go to our respective lanes, Ogre Magic was contested and just to be sure, I decided to kick him away from them even though he was safe already. So at level 1, I always go for Boulder Smash because that will be my way to secure the range creeps. And at the first wave, my goal was to get the creeps as much as possible by attacking Morphling and to get the aggro. And watching out for the range creep if Boulder Smash is necessary. Always try to include the enemy carry trying to last hit when using Boulder Smash on the range creep to have a better efficiency. Here, I decided to kick Morphling towards the tower, but sadly, I didn't have enough mana for Rolling Boulder to follow up the damage. I also queued up for Vanguard to have more survivability against Morphling. So here, Ogre and I decided to go for a play, so he went to the woods and I told him to wait for my level 4, as I will get the silence. Because Morphling plays a little bit carefree, thinking he could survive the surprise to him. And so, we get the first blood. Here, Ogre went to Rome for a while to get the rune and Morphling wasn't aware of his whereabouts. So I decided to surprise him again with my silence and kill him easily. And next, we went for techies, but apparently I had no mana to engage, but quick thinking on Ogre for him to give me enchanted mango, so that gave us a chance to kill him. By this time, I just finished my vanguard together with my bracer, so I decided to walk through the wave and get some last hits. I was confident enough that I could take some right clicks from Morphling. They engaged, but their damage wasn't enough. Ogre smoked up to get another kill at Morphling. We decided to give it a go. And yes, we succeeded with the help of Zeus's wrath. I tried using Border Smash and hopefully it hits to Tekis and let Ogre finish the job, but I think I missed. So here I was actually surprised that the Tekis still stayed in the lane when there is actually a level 7 Earth Spirit that could potentially roll at him anytime. Here, I'm trying to push alone while Ogre is roaming around the jungle. My goal here was to keep pushing, so I kicked the catapult away from the tower's range to save it from getting destroyed. I took some of the tower's hit to save the cart while waiting for the crypts to push in. By this time, I already got my urn. I saw Walker engaging with Sniper in the jungle, so I left the lane and went to help him. So I went for a fast boulder smash aimed at the stairs in case Sniper works towards it. Well. He didn't, he took the stone head on. Here was Sniper's perspective. I didn't know what he was thinking, but he walked towards the stone like a magnet. So I saw Riki already going to the bounty room, but I pretended that I didn't see him. So I also pretended to go back and also check Clockwork's items if he had dust with him. Which he had, but Riki already decided to chip hits me, but Clockwork was there. I used Magnetize hoping that it would connect to Techies because he threw a bomb at us, but the Remagnetize didn't reach him. 
This play on me was so bad that I had to mute them all for missing a lot of rolling boulders. Good thing I was able to buy my next item which was Vessel. So just please watch, I don't know if you're going to enjoy it but you know, things like this happen from time to time. As I was tipping bot, I saw a clockwork with a low HP, so I went to buy a salve for him, which I wasn't able to give him right away. As we saw Morphling farming on the lane at bot, we noticed that his movement was going to farm the small camp, so we warded the side and made a quick kill. My allies went for a smoke without me. Well, I can't move towards them as I will be very suspicious to the enemy in case they have a ward, so I stayed back, wait for the opportunity for them to go in. So Wraith King went in, most of them went for Doom, which was okay but I decided to catch Sniper and kick him back to my team. And that was actually a better call getting to enemies. So I have my Aghanim Scepter queued up and we went for Roshan and the enemy didn't know we had a ward. So I went in and I am Doom first, but when he used BKB, it was nonsense to target him. So I went to Sniper right away. Instead of slowing him down, I kicked him towards the cogs. So here we went for a siege. I told them that I will throw Morph, but they didn't listen. So the attempt failed and we have to call off the push. Here, we already saw Doom, we are just not making it obvious that we had the ward and we already telling Clockwork to hookshot him, but it was taking too long already so I rolled in. Then he decided to hookshot but it hit me. Ogre wanted to block Doom, but by doing so he was able to blink out, thinking he escaped but of course I'm a spirit. We can catch anyone so we chased him and killed him in the end. I'm protecting the high ground for possible engagements, then I saw techies who wanted to deward, but of course they already had my agonim, so I went in, chant remnant, boulder smash away, rolled in, though I best, we were still able to kill. So we were about to push and we saw techies, so we chased and got to kill him, while also spotting doom and sniper with BKB. So I rolled in, trying to catch them and make them use their PKP, and yes, we successfully made them use it. Here's our second attempt on our push. For some reason, their morph was really careless, thinking he could survive our magic bursts. So he died instantly. I went for Doom, but he got to use his Doom before Ogre Magi released his stun. So I'd have to wait for Doom to end before I engage again. As Clash progresses, I saw Clockwork hookshot Ricky and he wanted a cog knockback but he didn't have mana so he died for that. As my Doom duration depletes, I saw Sniper and I instantly rolled in to catch him and throw him to my team but Ricky used Blink Strike. That made me move very slow and failed the attempt. So I died for that. Here's our third attempt on our push, and as usual, I aim for Sniper, but Doom makes his way in and luckily hits me with his thumb, and of course, Doom me. But the good thing is, my team was able to double force staff me to safety. We were about to reposition and wait for my Doom to expire, but Wraith King was left alone and die. The enemy wanted to fight more and we have to escape. My Doom expires and Ogre was about to die, so I used the enchant remnant, grip, and then kick him to safety. This was the third Roshan, and I saw Clockwork dying so I had to roll in, and at least use enchant remnant and throw him to safety. But once I got there, there was a weak smoke so I failed, though he was safe. Then we saw, yet again, Mr. Morp carefree, and of course killed him. 
We chased other enemies and I even killed Ricky after I rolled to him and used my Havoc Hammer to finish the job. I wanted to catch Sniper but of course Mr. Doom is back to block my plans and do me once again. Though we were able to snowball them for dying one by one. So in the end, we won the match. My team was good and their team especially more was too carefree. So I think that's all for today guys. This was my second episode of my daily life of Earth Spirit. Please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lord Kaolin. I hope you liked the series with some addition from people's suggestion. Be sure to check the first episode if you haven't seen it yet. Please do comment some things I should remove add or you could give me your thoughts to this series. I think I made it too long, don't you think? Well, anyway, thanks for watching.